Hi, this is Dave from Automation Devices, and we thought our next video would be to show you how to receive the equipment in and what's your proper setup. So some of the first things you might get when you open up everything out of the box is a bunch of various parts. And I'm sure you'll recognize the drive unit from the bowl, and then there's the various parts in here. But usually one of the first things you want to do is probably take a look at what's attached to the bowl here. You can see we wire tag it in this uh, operating instruction packet. So let's take the first thing out, and the first thing here is an inspection report, and then there's probably the nut or the bolt for holding the bowl down. So let's take that out also. So the first thing we want to do here is take a look at this and make sure we understand what is the paperwork that we were given. And some of the important information is on this piece of paper. Uh, it's going to have our job number. That will be what you want to reference if you call into us and have a question about it. Any error settings are going to be down in here. This will confirm that your unit is 120 volts, 60 hertz. And if there's any amplitude, and we'll go over that in a minute with the amplitude sticker, it's going to say on here. Now, in this particular case, it says amplitude is too low to, too low to read. You would have normally read that on a sticker like this, but because it was too low, we simply didn't put that on the bowl. But if it was, the sticker would be on the bowl, and there would be a number on here to go with that. Uh, it's indicating uh, anything that we, we tested in terms of one to two part length, part quantities in the bowl. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. There's going to be something here indicated that the bowl position was X stamped. And the reason for that is that's telling us that the bowl and the drive are in the correct location. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look at the bowl and find the X. There's going to be an X somewhere at the bottom of the bowl. It could be anywhere around the perimeter, but look for it. The next thing you want to do is find the X on the drive. So we have to look along the side, and here it just happens to be right here. They're just stamped in. So what, that, what that's telling me is that when this bowl goes on top of this drive, I want the two of them aligned. And it's usually because of tuning reasons that we mark it that way. Okay, then the other thing that you'll find here is sometimes there'll be the rubber feet in the packet. So the next thing we can do is we can put the rubber feet on. So the one way that we can do that is to turn this upside down. And luckily this is one of the smaller lighter units. And we're just gonna spin them on and then once they get tight, I'm going to give them just a little extra turn, make sure that they're snug. I don't have to use a wrench to do that. I certainly don't want them loose either. One more. And then we'll turn that. Okay. So let's find where that X was again. That X was over here. Let me match up that X with this. So I've got them lined up. I can put the, the bolt in here. And now we can tighten it up. You wanna make sure that the bolt in the middle is plenty sufficient. And you can see I've used a small pipe to do that. If I were to use this just by itself, it wouldn't be strong enough. If I'm not getting good vibration between the bowl and the drive, I'm not going to get the parts to drive out like I wanted to. So we kind of call it pipe tight, where you've got that Allen wrench in here, and I give it just that little extra twist just to make it stronger. Okay, the other thing that you have in here is what's called foot locators. And what these are going to be are, there's three feet on the bottom of this, and you'll see one of them's right here. These are going to go around each one of these rubber feet and then you'll simply slide it down to your base plate or your table or whatever it is that you're attaching it to. And then here's where you'd screw that into your table. And with each one of these all the way around the bowl, then this bowl will not walk around. So it'll stay exactly where it's supposed to be. So these are some of the things that also need to be mounted down to your table when you order uh, a feeder system that doesn't already come with a plate or doesn't already come with a table. So those are the next things that you want to take a look at. Now in here is your, is your controller, and as you unpack, you'll have the controller here. And there's also a set of instructions in here for the controller. I'll set this aside for a moment. And what we see when we open this up, in this packet, it's gonna explain exactly how to set this thing. If you have to open it up, and make any of the changes. So if this needs to run on full wave or half wave, those changes are made inside. But those things are detailed inside this set of instructions. So this comes with every single controller that we ship out of here. If for some reason you either don't have one or one is lost, 
just give us a call. We can get another copy out to you. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to want to connect connect our controller up here. We'll just plug it into our outlet. Then we can take our bowl. Now, a small drive like this is going to come with a bare cord and simply whatever kind of cord you would either want to either hardwire this into the controller or some customers want to put a plug on this. And then if you do choose to put a plug on it, the plug can simply go right to the outlet. From here, if you were going to hardwire it, it would go through this grommet plug. Okay. All right, and then this particular customer ordered uh, what looks like uh, various sensors. So this just comes as an independent package. It's got the screw for controlling everything. They probably wanted to mount this to an inline track that they're building on their own. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got everything set up, we've checked everything, we've looked at all the instructions and made sure that we've uh, set the bowl in proper placement with the drive and we've got it connected to our controller. Probably the next thing we want to do is start off with the controller down at zero. So turn it all the way down. And then what we're going to do is we'll turn it on and we'll slowly start to turn this up. And we're going to feel if it's vibrating. We want to make sure everything's working properly. So we can turn it up about halfway. I feel it vibrating. I can hear it. So what you'll do is you'll take your sample parts or your, your finished parts and we'll start to add them to the bottom of the bowl. Okay. And we're going to watch them start to drive up the bowl. Now, at first, they may be coming up awful fast. And once they get close to the tooling, we're going to want to slow it down. So let's, let's wait till these get to the top. Everything looks like it's driving up the bowl real nice. These are very small parts. So we're probably going to need to slow it down once they get closer. So here's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to slow this down to nothing. What we want to do is when we finally turn this back up, we want to watch these parts fall down into here, and then they're going to feed out here at a nice steady rate. That's what we're looking for. So what you want to do is use a little common sense where your eye is going to be watching the bowl. Your hand may be on the controller, but you're going to be watching the bowl. Your eye is going to tell you how high to turn that up. So we're going to, we're going to just kind of keep turning it up, and we're going to watch it until we see it's falling in there real nice. It's not overfeeding it, or it's not underfeeding it. We can probably turn it up a little bit right there. And you can see they're falling in there real nice. It sounds nice and quiet. It's feeding nice and smooth. The parts are coming out the end here real, real nice. They're going all the way around this bowl just like they're supposed to. So based on what this customer needed and based on this feed rate, these things are probably flying through here just perfectly. And that's really what you want to do when you get your new equipment in. Make sure everything's there and actually understand how to set this up. So, thanks for watching.